Okay, I hit go. What do you want from me? Brief technical difficulties. Do you want something more interesting to look at on the screen? I don't need to learn more. I know how Twitch chat works. I'm not an idiot. Um, some technical difficulties, but they should be solved now. Uh, gaming. Some tech difficulties they should be better now that's good enough for me and we'll just make sure I don't have any oh beautiful looks like we're gonna be getting a viewer in soon let's go back to this fucking video game right Miku car continue loading the year 1995 1995 is the year <sighs> goodness me all right all right my stress meter is high now i did do a little bit of reading to determine how to make it not high anymore um i hear i heard something outside which means the physics are bugging the fuck out yes they certainly certainly are now there is a way to uh, relieve your stress, and it's a little haphazard, but essentially you just swear repeatedly, and um, apparently that's supposed to bring your stress meter down. You can also smoke, drive quickly, or uh, use the sauna. Um, I kind of gave up, and I've started to use a guide. Uh, let's see. $700 for later. Yeah, that should be fine. It's not... I'm swearing. I'm swearing like a, like Samuel L. Jackson in any movie that he's been in, and it's not helping, which is a little concerning, to be perfectly honest, because that can't be right. Um, interesting. Well, I tried. Clearly that doesn't work as well as I would like it to. What are we doing? We were going to build this car. I remember that being the primary task. So today uh, is probably going to not have nearly as much driving as a, uh, usually this game could because we're actually going to be putting Miku car together. It's going to be really great for us overall. It's going to allow us to actually like progress in the video game. Um, there we go. I'll just push it to the side a little. Yeah, that's good enough for me. All righty then. That is a Jim Carrey quote. And we'll just make sure that I'm not missing anything. Yes, Queen. Terrific. I'm just going to go ahead and change this category to common out to gaming. Look at me go. Game title, My Summer Car. My Summer Car 2016. Play less audience. It's not made for kids, darling. I am British now. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh, and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm British. British. There you go. Really hit the hit the harsh T. And uh, I'm just making sure that I still have the right. There you go. I want that to be visible. That way, I have all of the information that a little streaming boy like me needs. A healthy streaming boy. All right. Next, we got a headlight in. We got the rear suspension in. Let's see about actually building this frig diggly engine. There you go. Make some more room for myself. And what are we working on? So I've got a bit of a guide on the other monitor here, so you might see me occasionally pausing to scroll or change what I'm looking at. Uh, there's not much I can do about that for you, so you're just gonna have to deal with it. Uh, I'm not getting any views, but that's fine, because I don't need views to validate me as a person. Uh, so this, I'm just skipping past everything. Uh, do not buy a head gasket. And don't get what? Go inside. Buy an alternate. Oh, buy the that crap. I don't want to buy that crap. This game looks hard. Okay, well. Uh, let's see. Well, 
let's just start and go load router and reach parts. Let me make it look, you can push the car. Tensuma. That's other stuff. Hold on, I'm trying desperately to wrap my Oh. A picture. Okay, well, I'd rather just um use my little brain. Okay, building. This is the chassis. You know what? Let's build the chassis because it seems like there's parts of the car that are broken. Um, bottom of the engine bay. Let's start with the subframe because that needs four bolts and that is an easy thing for me to do and the car is all the way over there. So let's get our tools out. Great. Put them there and we're going to need our subframe like from earlier. Now, I remember I was playing with this last session and uh, but it's okay because it just kind of goes there more or less Yeah, more or less I think that's um, the technical term and that uses uh, 10 millimeter bolts which are here and you can see them attaching there one two three four blah 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 in and on and stop hunching over like Quasimodo other one should be sort of around here, give or take. Yes, queen. There we are. Subframe, subframe, subframe. Presumably nothing to do with the sexual archetypes of submissive and dominant, as that would be a little bit thematically silly. However, I wouldn't put it past this video game or real life. Steering rack. I need nine bolts. Where is the steering rack? It's like unassuming. There you go, steering rack. And that goes into the subframe, the rear part of the subframe. Right there. And that requires a 9, which you can simply do up by scrolling, which is how this video game works. There you go, we're just going to put that together. I'm glad the microphone still sounds okay. Um, yeah, sorry, this might be a slightly lower energy stream. I don't know. I don't really know why I'm streaming. I, I just felt like I needed to do something with my life rather than do nothing with my life. Well, except for all the other stuff that I do, because apparently I can never be satisfied or happy. Um, I need a couple of wishbones, which grant wishes, but only when asked nicely. Front left strikes me as the driver's side. Right there. And that is going to take two tens each. Put that in. Look at us go. Building this little car. Like some kind of person who knows what they're doing. In, 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 in. It's a good thing this car does not have bushings, because bushings make me sad. They make me down, they don't make me glad. They, uh, they certainly don't make me down bad, but they definitely make me sad. Me saying down bad, that was, um, that was Generation Z era, sort of a youth slang that I was using there. I had it explained to me one time by frat boys that down bad essentially just means horny. And it's interesting that the rust on the car is green instead of like rust color. That could imply imply that imply it could imply that the car is made of copper. However, I find that unlikely. Let's jack up the front ends of this vehicle to make our lives a little easier, shall we? It doesn't look like it's going to go too well for me. There you go. Just perfect. That is looking more like it. It's angling off to the one side. Now that's kind of my fault for putting the suspension in the back. There you go. Lift it 
it all the way up from maximum up. Yes, it's kind of sitting, leaning on that rear suspension, which is a little my fault. That's fine. I don't need things to not be my fault. Uh, next, spindles. Shut up, player in video game character. I might just take the uh, moped to the shop and buy some smokes to stop that because it's pretty irritating. I'm going to need some spindles. Now, is that a spindle? It's a disc rake. This is a spindle. This is what the kids these days are calling a spindle. I don't know if you heard about them. It's a new kind of a kind of a teen craze that the kids are working on. I need some 12 mils for that. Yeah, I'm cheating this time. I got a guide. You're gonna have to deal with that. But it's only one, which is real secure. Presumably the struts attach to the other one. Okay, and let's get the other spindle. Just all the way over there. I'm not gonna get up off the floor because getting up off the floor is for fucking losers. Oh, looks like my pizza's ready. Uh, so I am gonna have to be right back as I purchase, I finish crafting a pizza. So this is going to take a number of seconds. In the meantime, I encourage anyone potentially watching, I recognize that the viewer count is not 100% accurate, to um, pitch and shill this stream to your friends, because I'm under the impression that my stream is funny. So I'm just going to go ahead and reactivate the please wait icon, and I will be back but a moment, but a moment with pizza, the ultimate food. If my cat gets on the desk, let me know. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I, I know someone's looking. Hold on, sorry. Well, I'll be right back.
Yeah, probably a good move. It's important to keep your friend alive. All right. What is this? What is this? One concurrent viewer? I'll concur your int. Ugh, I'm back. Thanks for joining us. And by us, I mean just me. I'm simply alone. There is no other people here except for my roommate Jaden, who's pretty rad and just got a job at Lockheed Martin. But I am back. I'm here. I am queer, and I am ready to shift gears. Um, so let's just make sure that there's nothing important happening. I ain't gonna feed anyone. All right, where the fuck are we? Uh, I have pizza, I have a new microphone. It's not new, I've had it for a while, but I hooked it up this time, so it sh I should sound less shit. I got pizza. I ain't delivery. Sure is de delicio. Hmm. Delicious. Let me get rid of that fucking graphic on the screen. Beautiful. Where are we? I put the spindles on. Now we need the steering rods. Steering rods? They're called tie rods, you dink. Um, or, or not. Okay. Well, let's just jam this haphazardly on there. Beautiful. And each steering rod is held in with one 12mm bolt, which is the wrench that I already have out, which means I don't need to do anything. I just need to attach that to here. Now, it seems odd to me is that it's not actually attaching anything. It's these steering rods. Okay, well, what, what does that actually fit to, my, my, my friend, good sir? Because I don't see any other... All right, well, you know what? Let's just make that a problem that will get solved on its own <sighs> later. I'll install the other one in. There's clearly some kind of issue happening. Beautiful. Now we'll go ahead and bolt that on. Again, doesn't look like it's going on anything, but shared with struts, install them before tightening. Okay, hold on. I'll just put the struts in because they're, hold on. I'm just gonna have to shared with steering rods. All right, so let's go ahead and untighten that bolt because clearly we're gonna have some issues if we leave all the bolts tightened all the time. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to the disc brakes, which are discs in the front, drums in the back, like a real American classic fuck. Put those on. B-E-A, beautiful. And the disc brakes, of course, have a 14 millimeter socket because why should they have the same socket size as anything else? That would be pretty stupid, um, like realistically speaking. So this, sh I'm assuming this won't take me that long, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know most things. I don't, I'm not an intelligent person. I just kind of, I just seem that way. Uh, half shafts, that is the correct term for those. Let's throw that in there. Uh, inside from the disc brakes, uh, on the spindles, shared with half shafts, install them before tightening. Okay, hold on. I gotta go ahead and untighten my fucking, because I'm not reading the instructions properly. Untighten the disc brakes. There you go. Loosen up the disc brakes. Get the half shaft. Doesn't matter which is which, so we're just gonna jam them in there. Then, half shafts shared with disc brakes, and I tighten it now. And that is the half shaft on the car. And the half shaft is the 114 and then the three nines. Now the three nines are, fuck, are there. Now unfortunately the car has fallen off of its jack, which is pretty shit. So let's get it back down on the ground and we'll lift it right back up. There, Got plenty of room to work. Installing only one side of the rear suspension is kind of proving to be a bit of a mistake at this juncture, unfortunately. I, 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 I cannot deny that. But you know what? We're, we're resourceful people, and I don't think we should let that stop us. So let's get this half shaft going and get the tool, untighten it so that it can actually go on properly. Or remember to eat pizza at my leisure. I'm probably going to stream to like... 
nine-ish. Uh, that's in the wrong way, so let's just go ahead and put that in, and then we'll tighten it up. And uh, we'll wait until the gearbox ones come on. And now the struts is next. Ooh, these are some chunky, chunky boys. Which one was that one? I didn't actually look. Front left, that means it is the driver's side strut. And we're just going to go ahead and throw that in the correct place where it goes. That does not, that doesn't look like super correct to me. But who am I to judge? Uh, 112. So we're going to need the 12. Where is the 12? I don't know. On the bottom there. Struts, the 112, and then the 310s, the 49. Okay, 310s would be here. Don't know where the 49s are, because that is not immediately apparent. They must be, oh, I can think I can see them on the back there, actually, so that's good. We're doing great. We are doing terrifically. We're just a couple of terrific fellas. Doing great, doing damn fine. Fuck yeah. Doing damn fine. So, okay, here's my problem. Let me ask. So, if I grab this and I go to gaming and I paste it, is the code the same? It's different. So, we'll just, just go ahead and delete the old one and go ahead and delete the old one because obviously we're having issues and there you go that should help yeah it's not gonna hurt anything all right it's got that issue solved relatively speaking because no you cannot truly solve issues you know in this economy we need the nine and it needs to be around the back here one let's head you right to the top there right to the top there, and there's quite a few bolts involved. And it takes a lot of energy and effort to get all the components into the vehicle. Let's go ahead and get the 12, make sure that that is undone. It is terrific. Let's get the other strut and jam it on the front end of the car, shall we? Because that's clearly what I think the world and US economy definitely needs. That, again, again, does not look correct. Really doesn't. But I'm told that it is. Go ahead and reattach that. Oh, gorgeous. Did I forget the spindle here? I certainly, certainly did. And uh, we're going to go ahead and the... I okay, I did that up. Here's my issue. I think what I didn't do is I didn't I didn't do something. But this looks more correct now that they're like attached. They're definitely going straight down, which has got to be an improvement at least somewhere. Okay, what's next? Uh, the struts require the 310 mil. So from the same thing from earlier, we'll just go ahead and get the tops. Hold those on. There you go, nice and tight. Good for the economy. It's good for us in general. I don't know why I'm playing this game. Like, it's not even fun. It's not even fun. And then, of course, the four nines earlier. I'll throw that on there. Beauty. That one. Awesome sauce. That one, even better, and finally this one. Ugh, oh. ugh, oh. so happy, so much joy, so much love in my heart. I, I pulled a muscle masturbating yesterday. Which happens. Um, let's make sure I'm not missing anything. Nope, nothing important. Sometimes I get notifications, you know how it is, you know, 
in this economy. I'm going to scroll down my guide a little bit. Oh, it looks like there isn't very much uh, left with the front suspension. Um, great. I ain't going to complain about that. Um, I am getting so many dings, I am terribly sorry, and I'm not going to do anything about it. Okay, struts are in. Trailing arms. Next. That's the next step. Let's drop the front end of the vehicle. And we're going to go ahead and uh, bring this around to the ass end of the vehicle and lift it up off the ground so that we can get the butt going. There you go. Yes, terrific. Please, please pick up the vehicle right from where it's got to go. Come on. Yeah, bring us up. Bring us up. Bring us downtown. Shut up, player character. Let's have a little slurp because we are thirsty bursty. We're bursting through our thirsting. Terrific. Um, and next is trailing arms. I already got one of those in. So we'll just go ahead throw the second trailing arm on. Because sometimes, you know how they are, right? Trailing arms. In this day and age, the kids the kids today, man. The kids today, they're not playing stupid, brutally difficult Finnish video games. Um, and that's I think that's really where, where the kids are going wrong. Alright, trailing arm in. <laughs> arm trailing. Oh, look at that. I've got two views. That means somebody tried to click on my stream. Now, it doesn't show a concurrent viewer, which means someone isn't actually watching, which means I can basically say anything I want. Um, the government is bad. That's my controversial political opinion. Coil springs. Uh, these don't require any tools, so that's nice and easy. I can just jam one in the ass of the vehicle. Look at it go. And... Bonk. Delicious. Shock absorbers. Those require two sixes and one twelve. Uh, I'm getting a lot of notifications because my roommates are talking about cauliflower wings, which I'm not going to lie. When I heard, I'm making cauliflower wings, no part of my body or my soul said, that's going to be tasty. Um, but you know what? That did not stop. That did not stop um, my roommate from making them. And I think that that does deserve to be applauded in a small way. Um, just, you know, the sheer gall required to conceive of and then manufacture something like, what were they called? Cauliflower wings? Like, cauliflowers are deli- ca wings are delicious, and cauliflowers make me want to vomit. So I don't really know why we decided to combine those two things. Anyways, it doesn't matter, you know, to the government. It's fine. Bad boys on. So I like this game, but I'm very, very open to. Hold on, I'm just gonna take a little. I like this game, but I'm very open to streaming different games you know, going forward. Which I'm fine with. Come on. It doesn't bother me. I like trying new things. I like variety. I'm a real variety man. All right. Shocks in. Drum brakes on. Got one left. It doesn't say to put the wheels on. Oh, it does. It's the last step. Hold on. Please forgive me for I have been dumb and dumb and bad. So they call me dumb badly because I'm dumb and bad. Terrific. That's on. It didn't tell me to put the gas tank in, so I'm just not going to do it. Um, what size are the wheels? 13? Great. It's really handy that it's a slightly different size. Wheel. On car. Do up wheel, please. 
Look at us go. Wheels on car. That basically means it's done. Start it up. <clears throat> sir, sir, you've left the engine on a, on a table. You can't start it up anymore. Well, you know, since when did can't enter your vocabulary? Right? This is America. We choose to start the car, not because we can, but because we want to. Uh, come on. There you go. Gorgeous. Now, when the wheels are on, I, in theory, at least my theory, is that I won't have to use the jack all the damn time. And we should be able to just roll the car up into uh, over the inspection pit, which will make our lives a lot easier um, when we're, you know, doing it, doing the rest of it, to be precise. There you go. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at the car not sitting on the ground haphazardly. Don't push that around. I'm just going to go ahead and put that there where it goes. Jack up the car like you would any other Sunday on this delightful summer of uh, the year of our Lord, 2023. It's kind of stupid if you think about it. Like, why would we ever as a species want to exist for that long? You know, there's no actual reason to do it. We just really have a lot of attitude, I think, is the real issue. Um, other issues is that these tires are in bad shape. Um, and you, they will never, ever pass inspection. So I'm going to need to buy some new tires, which will definitely require me to, like, earn money in the video game. Now, we did see that one wreck, which is something. Maybe I can sell the wreck. I don't know how much money it gives. It used to give quite a, like, a pretty sensible amount of money, but uh, it may not anymore. Another thing in the game, uh, because we are playing like we're supposed to, it should take, like... I think after the first five days, which means that come Friday, it's Wednesday in the game, um, you should be able to uh, borrow the van, which will really make our lives a lot easier for like quick trips into town and stuff like that. And we're just going to go ahead and put the car back on the ground. There you go. That'll make the physics less bad and dumb. Um, chassis. Here, let me just quickly check some messages because my roommates have been going like crazy. Um... Try again. Yes, I, I mentioned the wing sauce. That's a potential issue. But uh, it looks like it's not really affecting us as negatively as it could be. Let's move on to the engine. Now, before I do that, uh, do you mind? I'm just going to check the guide really quickly because it mentioned something about um, doing other shit. So let's start with um, what, yeah, I'm just going to read the guide and we're just going to go from there. Um, okay. Let's find you in your home. Satsuma. Let's go up to 80. However, you need to wear a helmet. A little to no space for carrying uh, around items, and it is very difficult to drive on a keyboard without a falling over. Well, that's just plainly not true. Correct, a windshield. Quite much, uh, or very slow, but you can get from the dock to the dock of your fester because on water you travel straight line instead of going around so it's, its own flaws too, as we fall in the lake and uh, let's bring the Yonez uh, place the stock battery on the battery charger, done, done that uh in the character land approach, we're still doing okay for health, okay uh, yes, the tractor is slow, but reliable, somewhat efficient, has lots of space for items. When you go into the kitchen, your uncle's house is visible from the window. On a table outside, his is a Christmas present. Open it with F and take the gift money. Okay, so let's start by doing that, because that's relatively easy. Uh, let's get some free cash. Shit, didn't mean to do that. So that, because we drove by there, but we didn't really, like, do anything with it. We just kind of quickly uh, nipped around with the moped. Uh, and then we proceeded to take the moped to all the way to the store for no reason. And there we go, the present. Now let's go ahead and take it. Ah! Del, look at that. It's my character's name, Del Compact. I forgot I named him Del Compact. What a stupid name. That's fine. I'm stupid. 
so it works out. Turbo and gift money. How much did I make? A couple hundred bucks. I am not going to complain about free money. That's for damn sure. All right. Let's see what's next on the little list of how to play video game. Uh, test it. Get a parking brake. Hook up the farm, the tractor's trailer. Black jerry can. You can take some items to make your journey easier. You should take a beer case and sausages, milk sausages, pizza, and macaroni. Oh, need to go in the fridge. Okay, well that's something because I've got some sausages just sitting on the fucking table. Um, Looks like, oh, yep, all of my sausages have gone bad. I spent a lot of money on those. Okay, well, fuck. I've still got, I've got macaroni. That's the only food I have. And milk. Spoiled milk and milk. Great. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. I can deal with that. There's no issues there. There's a lot of issues there. Brake fluid. Why did I bring the brake fluid inside? Oh, yeah, because it was in the thing. Put that there, and we'll get a little bit more brake fluid, and we'll bring it back to where it has to go, presumably where I just had it. This is a video game that, in theory, video games are meant to be fun. Notice how I said in theory. Put that. Oh, fuck it. That's going to be sideways, and there's nothing you can do about that. Uh, all right, what is next on the list? Uh, those things, fuel mixture gauge. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, I didn't order that. That's fine. We can do that. Go with the four pistons on the garage shelf. If some are more black than others, write down which pistons are black. Then take the green jerry can, put it in the trailer. Okay, let's let's take a look at our pistons. Actually, uh, we can't because I already put them in the engine, which means that's fine. There's nothing we can do about that. Um, go down, are you ready to go? Go down to the home. Green jerry can put in the trailer. Okay, so I'm gonna need the green jerry can because that's got gas, so I'm gonna need to fill that up. That's fine, I can do that. Uh, I might take the boat and next time and uh, go to the cottage and pick up all the crap in the cottage. <sighs> railroad tracks. Uh, the railroad tracks. Go down the home road and turn left at the first two junctions and then hit route Taris. You'll find a black muscle car with a new paint job. Go inside. You'll go to the shop owner and the shelf of parts. Buy an alternator, a head gasket, pistons, and a starter motor. Um, only the pistons with the numbers that you wrote down. Do not buy a head gasket if you're buying many new pistons and don't get that much money from the gift earlier. Put this parts in the tractor trailer. Well, I'm not going to use any of those things. I don't think we need to. Um, there's a wasp nest. The abandoned farmhouse. Take the wheels and drop them out of the window. Put the wheels in the trailer. You'll want to replace the tires soon. Two of them start at 1% condition. You can purchase new tires by bringing wheels to the repair shop and using the service brochure. Fuck me. Can you drive to the rickshaw? Blah, blah, blah. Post box. Stuff at Timo's. I already bought crap. It's probably enough. I don't know. I just guessed. Um, if you have less than that many marks, previously put the battery. A good bag. <sighs> yes, I know how the video game works in that respect. Go back to the home. Where are they going? Great, so I is the cigarette button. Um... Now it's late, water approach. If you don't feel like struggling with the tractor. Yes, 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 yes. Blah, blah, blah. So it's basically just like those things are in bad shape and there's nothing you can do about it. Okay. 
engine. Crankshaft, correct. Main bearings on. Pistons in. Head gasket on. Cylinder head on. Headers. Headers are not on. Let's do those. Um, hmm. Okay. Next. Headers. On. Those uh, attach with an eight. Great. Where are my tools? Eight. And there's only five of those. One, two, three, and four, five. It looks like we are going to have a bad time as far as hunger goes, and we might need to actually go to the store again tomorrow with the moped or the boat um, because we uh, I, I, I fucked up with the sausages, and there isn't much I can do about that. Block attached to motor hoist. Place the engine block on the ground with headers facing the hoist. Great. Uh, and uh, I feel like, realistically speaking, using a beer crate is probably a perfectly cromulent uh, way to hold up. I'm just having a little thirst. Does this move my hunger down? Beer does move my hunger down. Interesting. Okay, that might actually be quite helpful going forward. Oh, I am getting a phone call. Hold on two seconds, my friends. I am terribly sorry about this. Oh, and no more phone call. Interesting. Um, yes. Give me cash. Blah, blah. Okay, I missed that phone call. That's fine. Maybe she'll call back. She wasn't ringing for very long. Uh, there's not much I can do about it. Well, maybe not. There. Onwards. Aww. There. I'm just gonna go ahead. Nope. Did not want to do that. Well, fuck. I'm not taking the oil pan off. I don't see why you would want me to do that um, because I'm not taking the oil pan off. That would be ridiculous. I ain't doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not taking the oil pan off. No, I, I refuse to take the oil pan off. I'm not going to do it. Gorgeous, mate. Fucking legend. That's as lined up as you realistically can expect it, uh, and it's 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 on backwards, definitely on backwards. Okay, uh, place the engine block on the ground with headers facing the hoist. See, it's clearly, plainly, and obviously incorrect about that. So we're just gonna go ahead and move it around the other side. 
because that's obviously plainly, clearly what is the correct thing to do. Obviously, clearly, and plainly. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and move that. Great. And we're just going to line it up slightly better. All right. That's so lined up. Come on. it, I can feel it, I can taste it. It's so good, it's so good, it's so close. Yes, look, no issues. All right, two to block, two tens. Ten. Put this one on and then it's gonna do a little bit of snapping as the physics readjust. That's all right, it's good for the economy. When that happens, just take our gas and put it there. And we'll go ahead and lift the uh, motor back up on our motor mount. Pretty sweet. Glad that's working out for us. I'm glad I didn't take the oil pan off, because that would be a whole fucking thing. Um, and it looks like I am going to have to make a quick phone call. I recognize that since no one's watching, it's like not a big deal that I make a quick phone call, but you have to understand. You have to understand. I, uh, not that smart. There. All right, I was a little concerned. Engine on, officially on. I hate when James Pumphrey does that. It really pisses me off. Bolts will appear, raise the hoist. Rocker shaft, uh, that's on. Spark plugs. Please go. Great. One. Another one. Another one. Empty spark plug box. Great. I'm going to need the splurrench. Terrific. And we're just going to go ahead and get all of those on. Let's take another spark plug box from the spanner set. Spanner? What is this? Europe? I call them wrenches, like a real American boy. You can be an American boy, American boy. Take me on a trip, I'd like to go somewhere. Take me to New York, I'd love to see LA. I really want to come pick it with you. You'll be my American boy, American boy. All right. Sparkies in. Camshaft. I already did that. Camshaft gear. Yeah, now we're, now we're, now we're fucking thinking the portal's camshaft gear, and this goes. All right to there, and the camshaft gear goes on with the 110, you know, like from the pe the present and the sort of thing in the I don't know what I'm doing. I don't, I don't even know what I'm singing. This is not a real song. This is not a real song, sir. <sighs> All right, crankshaft, pulley, alternator. Needs manual adjustments, the alternator. Fine, okay, I'll just put the fucking alternator on. Hold on, I gotta make a really quick phone call. I'm gonna be so back and there's nothing you can do about it.
you did that. All right, we doing something? What is this, some kind of a friendship happening? Oh shit, my hunger score is pretty high. I'm gonna have to eat something. All right, I don't have a lot of... Let's see what I can eat. Good, all right, that's something. That'll probably sustain me until tomorrow, in theory. Okay, where were we? Camshaft gear, timing chain. Oh, I skipped way ahead. Okay, camshaft gear, timing chain, and that just goes on. Great. Um, Chef gear under tuning section. couple of valve train tuners. Uh, I've got the tuning menu up on my secondary screen. Uh, my secondary screen also has given me the useful information that apparently somebody is watching this garbage. So uh, good for you, uh, enjoyer of trash, and uh, I hope you have a fun time. Today we're going to try to actually build the fucking car. Um, which may take a while, as it's not easy, and the game has been updated several times since I started playing, and it's different and harder now, and then it's like, it's different and hard, and it's just... It's different and hard, like, a uh, girl cock. Uh, <laughs> that's a fun one. Alright, timing chain, on. Timing cover, on the timing chain. Great, that's easy. Timing cover, timing. Timing cover. On oh, the timing chain. Oh, that's a lot of six six mil bolts. Six. And we're just gonna go ahead and see if we can count them correctly. One. Two. Three. If you guys have, uh, if you guys would rather me talk about something other than what we're doing in the video game, I'm also totally cool with that. Um, I can, you know, I can rant about all sorts of subjects like uh, Sony, just in general, cable standards. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wonderful, correct. Uh, timing cover. Water pump is on the timing cover, and it 
looks that's the drive gear and the water pump it looks like a water pump which looks like this and that goes right there and the water pump goes on with number seven bolts because why would you realistically do anything else and there's of course five of those little fuckers one two i can see four up there um I don't know, man, water pumps, they're like a whole thing. They pump water through your engine. Uh, back when I had a Volvo, it was a real issue uh, with the water pump. Uh, it had a lot of problems, that Volvo. I don't even know how many problems it had, but I know that there was a lot of them. Let's get the plastic-ass pulley on there, and that's going to be held on with more of the same bolts. Hey, look at that, two viewers. I'm a real, I'm a celebrity, I'm a streamer, I'm like RT game. They call me BT game because BT are my initials, uh, as clearly shown in the title of my channel. Um, we have the water pump on. I've had issues with water pumps before. My Volvo had to have it replaced. And because it's a Volvo, it's like a $200 European part, and they only made six of them, and they're all in Madagascar. I have opinions about Volvo, and we're not going to get into them right now. But doing this timing, the fucking water pump, makes me think about Volvo, and there's not much I can do about that. Crankshaft pulley. Crankshaft pulley. Goes on the crankshaft. And goes on with an 11. Like from Stranger Things. Let's get that on there. There is a lot of different ways that this build can go wrong. Ah, we're back down to one viewer. My real man, my real bro, my good friend. If you are making comments, I can't see them. I don't know. Maybe my uh, maybe my computer's fucked up. Maybe there's something wrong with my fiber optic internet. Who the hell knows? Alternator. Uh, one seven, one ten, and the screwdriver. So uh, alternator on. Yeah. Of course, that's going to go on with the requisite one number seven. Luckily, that's the bolts that I just had. Actually, it's not because I switched back to an 11 because of the way that this game works. I'm just going to put the top end of the alt night on, and the back end is right here. Nope, and the back end requires a 10 because every bolt on a Japanese car is 10 millimeter. Beautiful. Bolt on. Uh, now, adjusting the alternator belt. There's a way to do it. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and get the screwdriver. Haul in the alternator, bring it nice and close, and then we'll get the belt. Where the fuck did I put the belt? There it is. Bam. Now, if I recall correctly, uh, alternator belt is in the tuning section, so now I have to scroll all the way back down. Alternator. This should be easy. Scroll out until it stops moving. And then it's out. Then back in two clicks. And then you screw that in. It's adjustable and it's meant to be adjustable because that's, I guess, how the tensioner worked, you know, back in the past when shitty games sucked ass. Uh, so there's not much I can do about that. Look at that. Look at a little V belt. Who's a little V belt? Who's a good little V belt? You're a good little V belt. Sorry to give you some kind of a medical difficulties with that that funky little one. All right, alternator tuned. Next, let's go back up to the list that I was looking at because I've got three little web browsers on my screen. Uh, engine other and alternator belt distributor goes is on the screwdriver great that's what i have where is my distributor uh has it been distributed to an unexpected location this is the electrics it's the fuel pump distributor there you are 
Here's my little buddy. And it's gonna go, bam, right beside. And it's gonna go on there, but first the distributor must be tuned. So let's go ahead and tune it correctly. The distributor needs to be adjusted to ensure the engine has enough spark. Same with all the rockers. <laughs> Two ticks and scrolling down with your hands till it stops moving, then scrolling up 27 times. Great. So we're just going to go we'll bolt that in and then dunk, dunk. And then scroll down all the way, all the way until it stops. Great. Unscrewing it, scrolling with your hands until it stops, then scrolling up 27 times or after, okay. And one, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. That's probably correct. Great, that one's in there, that looks Adjusted. All right, what's next on the list? Uh, we have. We're just gonna. We're just doing this because you got to do it. Uh, distributor engine plate. Great. That doesn't even require any tools. It just goes on there. This is the side of the engine with the with the transmission. Terrific and. engine plate starter on the engine plate. Now it mentioned that there's probably going to be issues with the starter, but I feel like, again, you know, I'll, I'll take my chances. Wonderful. And then of course the starter only appears after wiring. Uh, okay. Two sevens to hold the starter in. Go ahead and grab the seven out of there. Oh no, I fell into the inspection pit. How will how, how will I how will I not be inspected by the chief inspector? Chief inspector. The chief inspector will hear about this. You're going in there. Now technically that bolts into the transmission, but uh, it doesn't say that that needs to happen. So I'm just going to go with uh, it's entirely correct the way that it is. Next flywheel goes on the engine plate. Great. I'm gonna those. That looks like a flywheel to me. And, uh, oh, that's got to go on. I'm getting more messages on my little cell phone. I'm so popular. Yeah. Awesome. Terrific. Okay, that's, I don't have to look at that right now. Okay, next. Flywheel goes on with some sevens. Luckily, that's just what we had out. One, two, three. I don't have to count each click, so this is kind of, I'm not tuning the flywheel, I'm just putting it on there. Um, man, do you think, do you really think that just like tanking it until tomorrow is going to work for our hunger situation? Because we're definitely taking, do you think we should take the boat or the um, little moped? Moped's pretty damn fast, but uh, boat can carry more crap. I think moped, honestly, sounds just flat out more fun. <laughs> Clutch pressure plate. Let's put it on the right way around. Is that going to work? Clutch pressure plate on the clutch cover plate. And the clutch assembly. Oh, clutch pressure plate. Disc on the flywheel. Great, that looks correct to me. Then of course the whole assembly can go on. Now I, I'm noticing, here's the thing, I'm noticing uh, quite a number of bolts uh, that it's not having me do up, which is something to keep in mind. Now the crutch pressure plate goes on with six sevens. One, two, three. Four, five, six. I'm gonna go with that's what they are, and I'll just do them up. Really? 
Really? Because, hold on. Okay, so flywheel on, six sevens, correct. Clutch pressure plate on there. Clearly I'm having some kind of issue because it's not working even when I try to break it apart. Um, now, gearbox. Shared with the inspection cover, six sevens, one ten. Inspection cover, drive gear, clutch assembly. Again, I really feel like the clutch pressure plate is on with six. So, okay, so if I put it back on and then I get a six, is that gonna start working? Because I'm gonna be pretty pissed if it does. Of course it does. Okay, well, let's just call that the thing that we were supposed to do. Again, I don't like leaving bolts undone. It just doesn't seem right to me. I don't know if that's like a religious thing or if it's, um, it's just sort of an odd sensibility I picked up back from uh, my army days. I was never in the army, that's a lie. I'm very sorry, I shouldn't have lied to you. Um, you really think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? Bullshit. It's the type of thing that doesn't happen in real life. Okay, clutch assembly. Officially on, nope, not doing that. Oil pan, I did that earlier. Uh, and then there's a 13 on the bottom. I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that the bottom is like tight. Great, not causing any issues. Gearbox, that's a fun one. Glad we don't have to assemble this. Terrific. Oh, joy, joys. All right, uh, the gearbox goes on with six sevens. places uh, here, I suppose. That's where they all are. Great. It's easy. Don't have to tune the clutch. Top four. Shared with the inspection cover. Ah, okay, hold on. We'll, we'll go ahead and we'll put the inspection cover on because that's clearly what we have to do. Why, why did the why do the bolts even appear if they're not in order? Um, and there's also going to be one 10 involved, and that would be this one. Seems fair. Now we're going to need the inspection cover, which is all the way down here. Now, cool people leave the inspection cover off, but you'll note that I am not, in fact, cool. Um, it's simply a persona I put on for the benefit of you guys stop hunching over and no one's watching but i do have seven total views which is not nothing i suppose technically legally speaking it's getting kind of dark my fatigue my fatigometer a little high so is my hungometer but i'll have some beer before bed that'll assuage at least a good chunk of the hunger uh gearbox and inspection cover in drive gear is next let's get that going shall we that goes somewhere. Right there, apparently. Sure, I'm sure that has a purpose. The drive gear goes on with six, seven sixes. Get that on there. Nice and tight. Oh, look at that. We have an viewer again. Um, a, a silent partner. A sneaky, sneaky little viewer. Sneak, a sneaky little viewer. You know, no one can see it coming, no one can see it going. Uh, and if you're saying stuff in the chat, I certainly am not seeing it. Uh, but that could that really could be technical difficulties. Uh, ping me on Discord if you can't talk to me. I don't give a shit. And uh, let's get the drive gear still on there. Next, carburetor. That does not look spelled correctly on the guide I'm looking at, but not much I can do about that. Now I have a certain fear of carburetors because they don't really operate through like logic and normal means that like you know I am understand things to function at they, they work on like air pressures and essentially feelings carburetors sometimes are just in a bad mood and I can't do that I'm bad with feelings you know me I'm autistic eight carburetor and the carburetor goes on with four eights one it seems fair to assume that the other two are back there. Yeah, they're right 
there, as expected. Epic! Uh, carburetor needs manual adjustment. See carburetor under tuning section below. Fine. Let's just do this while we're working on the car, and we'll just get it all out of the way, and we'll drive the car to the store with beer in it. Alternate distributor carburetor. With a fuel mixture gauge that you should have ordered, did not do that. You can start the engine, take the screwdriver, and look at the screw in the carburetor. Then you can scroll up and down until the gauge shows some number around 14.9. If you opted not to order the fuel mixture gauge, there are two other consistent ways of tuning your carburetor. Locate the screw and then scroll up 44 times. Fuck me. After that, scroll down seven times. This will set the ratio to 14.7. Uh, this is the best ratio. This is guaranteed to pass inspection over. If you've already passed the inspection and want to do a better ratio for power and speed, hold down 17 times instead of 7 times. This will set the ratio to 16.4. You can also be tuned by looking at the exhaust color. Um, mm, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Alright, so scroll up 44 times on the adjustment screw. Let's let's make this the last thing we do today before our little <laughs> our little adventure tomorrow. Uh, where are you, little adjustment screw? Are you here? Are you here? Okay, so now we know what we must do. We have to scroll up forty four times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Scroll down seven times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Fascinating gameplay. Um... Great. Now it also says that I can pull it down even more for better numbers. Uh, but let's go ahead and assume that passing inspection is our goal. So I gotta get our safety. Great. Uh, that's the rest of the crap that we need. Cob. Air filter on the carburetor. 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 They call me a carburetor because I'm always carbon with my retas. I feel like leaving the battery on charge is not a bad thing. Bam! Bam, baby! Scroll... Oh. The air filter... Okay, hold on. It uses sixes. Six. Just two. Just to the side here. Uh, you can't change air filters in the game. Which is like... I don't know why anyone would, would want that as a feature. They're like, I can't... It's ruining my immersion. I don't want to be able to do a little, do the, unscrew the little thing and put the air cleaner lid on upside down to get that kind of 70s approach for more power. I need to be able to do that or else it's going to ruin my immersion. All right, oil filter. Uh, did I buy a new one? I feel like I may or may not have bought a new oil filter. I don't remember doing it. Did I? Let me look in the house. I, I may have lost it on the journey. There's nothing in there. Uh, did I leave it in here? No. Did I leave it in here? No, it's just where the booze is. Let's have more beer. Look at me go. Alright. Oil filter. I'll just use the shitty old one. I don't care. And that just goes right on. Like, I don't even need to access tool mode. It just goes right on. Uh, fuel pump next to the f oil filter. Tricks, fuel pump. Great. And the fuel pump goes on with two sevens, which is nice and easy because it's one size up from what we already had on us. And there's the two. One, two. Look at us go. We're like real mechanics. Real fins. I don't know any finish. Let's hear some. Elvete. There you go. That's Elvete. That's finish. Fuel pump. Block. Mount the engine on the subframe. Carefully move the hoist to the car. Don't shake it, or the block will fall off. Shall we attempt to do that? I think we shall. <laughs> That's an important... Oh, fuck. Don't...
don't shake it or the block will fall off well. It's fine. Lower the engine to align it with three size 11 bolts on the subframe. I feel like that looks correct, right? Line up with three bolts. look like the bolts. Three size 11. Great, so let's get a size 11. Unbolt the two size 10 bolts from the hoist. So start with that. Put the motor hoist back in its place. I don't have, I don't, you're not my dad. You don't, I don't have to do that. It's just the three bolts holding the entire engine on, which seems a little weird to me. But, uh, you know, that's just me. All right, and the other one's probably at the back. Seems logical, right? Right there. Great. Nice and easy, right on the transmission. Um, and then we also are going to have to put those on. But first, we're, let's get rid of this motor mount, uh, this motor hoist. 10. One, out. This one, out, doink. Okay, motor hoist is free, which means it can go live over here, as I do not need it anymore. Ah, that saves up some space in our garage. Okay, block in car, start it up. Nah, there's still more shit we gotta do. But I don't think we can get do do uh do uh, we can get to too much of it today, cause it's only Wednesday. Um, plus we gotta bolt up the transmission to is it all the way over here? The half shafts, which require three nines. Great. Let's get ourselves a couple of nines. We'll just throw the transmission on all the way. You know, cause otherwise I would definitely like definitely forget it. Um, it's so dark in this video game. One. Let's get that. Just, just, just get that on there properly. We'll go ahead and get the other side, and then we'll go on a little adventure. We'll go on a little adventure, because we're just a couple of adventure boys. That one on there. Beautiful. And we'll get that one on there. Equally gorgeous. Okay, engine's in car. Now, engine block correct, engine other, and that is what's next into the game. But let's uh, turn this off and uh, go to sleep. Well, I mean, first we're gonna have like a whole bunch of beer to try to assuage some of my hungar, because I've got issues with that. Can I eat spoiled sausages? I feel like I shouldn't. And uh, great, let's have a little, we'll have a little shower piss, because um, it's easy. Piss in the shower, multitasking. So this is this is efficiency. This is what I call good content. Be pissed and taking a shower. You'd think this is red gifts, but nope. It's just YouTube. Crazy, right? Crazy indeed. Am I good? Did I do it? No. Nope. Still not out of urine. All right, turn that off. You have to pay for electricity in the game, so it's important to turn the lights off when you're done with them. I like to leave that one on, though. Makes me feel safe. Let's fucking go. Oh, 
Is he hungover because he had two beers? of a choice at the current moment. So let's go ahead and uh, have a little save and uh, let's start in our journey. You know, in case we die and we can um, reload or whatever. But we ain't gonna die. We're very powerful people. Death is for the weak. Mm. Activated lighting. It's a hidden feature this room has. A little switch on the wall. Turns on a fixture in the ceiling, it's red. So my roommate made some banana bread. Chocolate chips in it. And I'm gonna try for the first time. Live banana bread reaction. That's pretty good. There, you got a live banana bread reaction. What more do you want? Let's have beer. What time is it? Fuck, it's like noon. Shit. Noon on a Thursday. It's raining. gears does this piece of shit have? Four. Hell yeah, that's the correct number of gears. Alright, so this is a very dangerous experience. Uh, the engine is kind of loud, so please do not mind me talking over the loud as fuck engine. I need to get to the store or else I will die of hungation. But it appears that the moped is suitably fast to get me, oh fuck, into the store in a reasonable time frame. It ain't easy to drive with a keyboard, that's for damn sure. So we'll see what we can do about that. There you go. Boom. Pretty fast. This is way faster than a tractor. I respect that. Zoom! Look at us go! Having a real Zoom-based adventure. Like that, you know that video conferencing software? That's, uh, this, this, this stream sponsored by Zoom video conferencing. <laughs> please no train, please no train, fuck yeah. And we're just gonna whip around all the way. I think it's technically faster there you go. If you go this way. Uh, so in the uh, interest of saving everybody a lot of time, let's do that. Let's go the fast way. Oh, it looks like my kitten, or my roommate's kitten, Luna, is coming into the room. Hello, little Luna. You are a total sweetie, and you have a soul that simply, simply pines for destruction, death, and chaos. And I like that, you know? I respect that in a kitten. I feel like a kitten really should be entirely about destruction, chaos, and general terror. Because they're so damn cute, you know? They need to be, like, a little evil to offset the cuteness. I think is really the only logical conclusion that we can make here. Let's take a 90 degree turn. Look at us go. Are we gonna hit the road? Are we gonna frappe la route? As uh, my mother-in-law says, 
and we are going to take a little turn down the road. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's hit the fucking road. Let's go, bro. Fourth gear. Sixty. Sixty-five. Seventy. We're going, we're a couple little speedy boys. Hey, buddy. It's just another, another motorist. For sure, are a lot of hay bales on this map. I'm not gonna lie, I am not gonna do the hay bale mission, because why the fuck would I want to do that, honestly? It's really the logical answer there. That just, I don't need to do that mission right now. Now, I didn't fill this thing with gas, so let's assume it has enough fuel to make it to the shop and back. I did buy gas, but I left it at home like a goobist. That's right. You heard me. Damn it, I could have brought the gas tank. Filled it. Oh, well, we'll do that with the van when we unlock it, maybe. As I whip down the road. It's okay, I'm breaking a speed limit. Probably. Let's hope for no cops. The worst thing to happen in this game is to get a fine by the police, because the number, the amount that they fine you is so, like, a, just a ridiculously gigantic amount of money that you're basically fucked. And if you don't pay, you go to jail. And you stay in jail for a week of in-game time, and you can't skip it. You know, it's not like a punishment. You just have to sit there and wait the entire time and, like, stay alive, essentially. Keep eating or else you die, at which point you have dead it. So it's important for safety to stay in the middle of the lane and avoid sobs as they come by. We're going fast. Good. Our hungometer is getting a little high, so we'll buy some smokes while we're there. That'll reduce our stressometer as we whip ever so gently down the road. And yeah, this corner's a little not super tight. So we're just gonna slow down a little. There you go. trailer coming. This could potentially be the cause of a disaster if Buddy there tries to pass. He's not going to pass. Joy of joys. Is that the way we were going? No, I think that's the normal exit to go to the shop. So that means the shop should not be very far from here. I chose to drive on the highway instead of the dirt roads. It's just really a risk mitigation procedure. Um, however, there's a lot of vehicles going like vehicle speeds on this road, which I, I really did not predict. Oh, I am an oncoming traffic. Hey, Luna. Going away? I respect that. Uh, this stream kind of sucks. I don't know why anyone's watching. Um, but I appreciate you guys who are. If anyone. I mean, I don't know. I think I've noticed that the, uh, the numbers displayed on my screen, not the most accurate thing in the world. That's fine. Totally fine by me. Fuck, this thing's loud. It's completely drowning out everything I say. Okay, here we are. Okay, there we go. Now let's hope the shop is still open. Stand on, motorcycle up. Thank fuck. Hey, buddy, that's totally cool. Let me just, yep, yeah, thank you very much. Can I not? Hold on. Eat. Oh, my fucking helmet. Be 
obviously. Oh, thank god. Okay. Now that I've eaten, let's buy a pack of smokes. F. I'm just gonna go ahead and have an entire one right now because there is not much we can do otherwise to reduce our stress. This is basically how I smoke weed. It's just one big inhale. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the whole thing out. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, burns. Burns so good. I don't know, what do smokers say? Smooth. Close down smooth, that's what they say. Man, I got pretty high stress. I have had like half a smoke. My stress armor is still maxed. Come on. Inhale. All right, I guess I'm having another one. Because apparently uh, my I'm the most stressed out, upset, uncomfortable person in the galaxy. There you go. See, that's what you call a stress armor when it goes down. What is this, some kind of community guidelines? There you go. I'm just gonna go ahead and have a little bit more because my stress arbiter is still kind of high. Now what else did we want? We're here for food, that's the main one. So, anything else I'm missing? It was gas, that was the main thing that I was missing. But I literally can't do anything about that. So, we just buy whole bunch of sausages, and uh, what else could fit that I might need? I need another light bulb. Kill light bulb. And what else? <laughs> you know, it seems a shame. Oh, fuck. Oh, God damn it. Two. Not buy anything, but, uh, you know. Now here's the, here comes the fun part, loading the bag onto the scooter, because that little rack at the back, you know, it kind of pauses physics, essentially, as, as is being demonstrated here. It kind of sticks. All right, now we're just going to go ahead. Uh, dirt. Where's my shopping bag? It got fired off into the fucking stratosphere. Okay. See, this is the problem with this game, is that the physics are bad and don't work. Stop doing that! God cunting damn it. Sure, let's call that good enough. Fuck to fly now. Let's hope for the best with that one. Still got my shopping bag. Given this is my only way to obtain food, I think it's pretty important that we do this properly, right? Fuck. No, my bag! I need this for later. God. 
No, please. Please get on the rack, my friend. Please, sir, may I have some physics? <laughs> Gun it! Get home. Great, she's on there. Shift. It's a moped. Motorcycles, you gotta rev high. They're not about just playing in the grunt zone like a regular car. You gotta rev the shit out of them. I learned this by watching YouTube. There's this man, his name is Fortnite. I think he's actually the best motorcyclist in the galaxy. Um, and that's a real fact that I would never lie to you about. I don't see anything in there. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Let's not be in oncoming traffic, shall we? Being set in the correct direction as I make sure my shopping bag remains in place. Nope, don't be in oncoming traffic, ba uh, Bradley. I like that the, um... The bag being on the back of the car is fucking with the physics of the bike enough to make it nice and annoying. Um, and in this case, let's take the slightly more direct journey down the dirt roads back to our place. There you go. Still got the bag. Again, only food source. driving. We're moving. On to the road. Terrific. Slight bump, but our food is still there. And uh, I'm going to keep it in third down this road uh, in the interest of safety. I feel like that's probably a smart move. You know, my safety score, fuck, is not awesome. Please don't fall, my bagular friend. Yes, my bag remains. Because if I fall off the bike, then not only does the bike shut off, but I also lose my bag. And losing the bag, as we've just discovered, is by far the most annoying thing that could possibly happen to a human. So we wanna, we're want we gonna wanna avoid that at all costs. Uh, I've been streaming for a good little while now. So, we're going to keep going for a bit, but I don't think realistically we're going to have the car done tonight, uh, which is fine. We'll come back to it. I mean, it's 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 this game. That's why I'm streaming it, to give me a reason to keep fucking playing, because it's such a nightmare. Um, when I played this game alone in the summer of 2021, I managed to build the car and have it going and, like, unlock all the poop jobs and everything. Like, I was pretty far along in, in the story. I didn't do the girlfriend or the race or, or, or anything like that. But, um, you know, I was able to play, which I appreciate. Is that another wreck? Hold on. I think I just saw something down there. Let's come back for that some other day. Not right now. But it looks like we might have two wrecks to sell to Flatari. I don't believe he's open on Fridays, but don't quote me on that. He might be, I don't know. I'm not... I'm not, like, a real guy. Like, I don't... I'm, I'm not real. I'm a parasocial relationship. I'm an AI. Some kind of artificial intelligence produced me and bred me purely to be a bad YouTuber. <coughs> Sorry about the burping. Literally nothing I can do about that. Um, I've tried an array of things. I've been eating probiotics to kind of settle my stomach bacteria. And, like, it helps, but, you know, definitely doesn't solve. <clears throat> nope. See, I spun out, and I lost my bag. That's because this game doesn't want you to be happy. Where the fuck's my bag? It's right there. Okay.
noise is. Beautiful. Onwards. Away we go. The kickstand being up could potentially have been the cause of a lot of our problems. Uh, and I'm, I'm a little upset that nobody noticed, except me just now. Because um, that probably would have like saved me a, a good chunk of heartbreak. Uh, yeah, there you go. I heard the train going by earlier, so it wasn't us just then. Um, now, if I recall correctly, the player character has a grandma who lives right here. And you can go hang out with her. Uh, there's mods that allow you to unlock her car, which is like a goofy little Suzuki Mighty Boy, um, which is a great name for a truck, by the way. A little, um, a little sort of Australian style Ute, you, you know, like a pickup truck car. Yeah, I don't know. I, I looked at the mods. I thought about like downloading some, but then I realized that that sounded like effort, and it would take up to dozens of minutes. So I decided against doing that and decided to just be a, a normal little fella. Um, okay, hold on, I'm gonna slow down for this. Uh, okay, if I recall correctly, based on my vague memories of this game's map, um, we should be getting at least a little bit closer to the player's house at this point. I remember this very narrow corner very specifically because it's like, it's not an easy one to hit with um, any of the more larger, like, utility vehicles in the game, like the truck or the van, both which we have not unlocked yet. <coughs> uh, that says the limit's 40, and we are already breaking that. <coughs> I don't see any trains. We're probably fine. Great. So this is, like, the little road that basically is essentially your player character's driveway. Um... So we're going to see what kind of distance we can cover. Oh, we're doing great. Oh, we are doing terrifically. It's a little bumpy. It's a little bumpy. Technique. 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 But I think we're actually doing okay. Hold on. I hit a little section of bumpy dirt. Still got my bag. Everyone, remain calm. We still have the sausages. And I will put the sausages into the fridge. Because I learned that if you don't do that, it's a problem. We'll probably take the beer out of the fridge. As much as a cold beer is pretty ideal most of the time. Uh, we'll take the beer out of the fridge. Just to save us a little bit of energy. And uh, we don't have to check our mail, but like we could if we really wanted to. Again, don't really need that. Turn it off. Kickstand. Helmet. Ground. Bag. In the house. I'm just going to haphazardly load everything in the fridge, I think is going to be my current sort of plan of attack. Like, sure, I could put it all in like an organized and and logical way, but to be perfectly honest, and honestly, I just don't think it really makes much of a difference as far as the gameplay goes. Um, you know, how organized your fridge is. I mean, it makes me happier when it's more organized, but since when has my joy been a reason to do anything, right? Since never. Since never. I mean, at least this sausages do go bad, so now there's like an actual reason to buy the other foods in the game. Um, and these expired sausages can live there. I have no 
reason for them not to. And of course the car light bulb can go with its friend. Oh, so I did buy a battery. Okay, well, I guess I'm just stupid. Um, let's have a quick little drink. Then I think I might try to throw a few more things onto the engine. Uh, and then uh, I'll probably end the stream so that I can be ready to uh, pick up my partner from where she's got to be. Uh, but first, let's throw the electrics on the car. Actually, let's see if we can roll the vehicle into the inspection, into the garage, because that would really save us a lot of time. straight to me. Alright, you got a problem? What's your fucking problem? What do you want? Milk, sugar, and sausages from Timo. Yeah, I can do that. First, let's get this car where it's gotta go. inspection pit. See? Fucking perfect. Oh, Could not have done better than I did. Look at us go. The car is on wheels in the pit. It has an engine physically inside of it. Let's get those electrics on there, shall we? Beautiful. And the electrics are held on with two number eight screws, which we can go ahead and throw right on there. Just put that in. Electrics don't need to attach to the spark plugs, they just shove on there, shall don't they? Yes, they do. <laughs> fuel strainer. Looks like a fuel strainer to me. From the fuel pump to the engine bay. Fuel pump. Where's the fuel pump? Is that the fuel pump? The fuel pump is there. Surely. It was like right there, doesn't it? Because that's where the carb is. Okay, interesting. Well, let's throw in the radiator because clearly we can't figure that one out. Radiator is in with number seven screws, and it's in with 
four. Take a wild guess as to where they may be. Try that. Um, goes inside the car. What goes inside the car, my friend? Fuel strainer. Okay, let's put it back. The fuel pump goes inside the. Where? Down here? Shut up, I'm not picking up that phone. Because the fuel pump. That's um, in like normal cars, it's in the gas tank. But this is not a normal car, it's old as shit and, and bad. So there's no way of actually knowing where that would go. Fine, I'll pick up the phone. If you insist, if you insist on picking up the phone. A heart attack, transport all the hay bales back to our front, no, I'm not doing that. Um, no, I, I'm aware of that mission and it's not happening. Sure, you sure the fuel strainer goes to the back. Because it just doesn't seem right, you know? It seems like the type of thing that would go at the front of the car. Because it says fuel strainer from the fuel pump to the engine bay, and that's all it tells me as far as location goes. Um, which is causing me uh, like a whole a whole lot of grief, you know, kind of emotionally speaking. I know. So it's, it's gotta go like, because it doesn't. It goes from the pump to the engine bay. Maybe it's underneath the car. Hmm. What a. What a what a real predicament to find myself in. Maybe if I go in the inspection pit, it will. Things will be clarified to me. Uh, oh, is that something? Because there's the fuel line. So goes in the engine bay. So fuel line goes here, there, and then that way. So the fuel line goes there, which means that the fuel strainer has got to go right there. Ha ha ha! I am a genius! It goes on the firewall, bottom right-ish, looking at the front, it's attached to the block. I think I did it. You guys were of medium help. Um, let's see. So, fuel strainer. Strained. Fuel strained. I'll strain your fuel. One number eight screw. So we'll get an... That's a nine. We'll get an eight, and we will throw it the fuck on there. Fuel strainer. Radiator. In. Radiator hoses. Screwdriver. I'll throw those on. Now, I have very vague memories of where all this stuff goes. So I'm just gonna like, try to remember. Uh, it's been a bit since I built the car. Yeah, and every time I play this, this, this painful video game from heck, it's, it's from heck, my friends. It's a painful video game from heck. Every time I play this painful video game from heck, um, I uh, they, they always change the, the rules, so I can never like do it properly. And uh, here, we're just gonna throw on the screwdriver because we gotta get the freaking hose clamps on all the way. Yeah, they keep changing the rules. Like one time I started playing and I built the car and it wasn't working and I was like, what the fuck isn't working? And it turns out that they added, like you have to wire up the entire car. This was a couple of years ago. So that finally, okay, fine. So I learned how to do that. And I learned how to do that. And then fucking, I start again and I'm, I'm looking at this guide and the guide keeps changing and adding detail. It's, it told me to like buy a new cylinder. I didn't do that, cause fuck that. But like it, it, the game wanted me to. Where's this attach? This attaches down here. Who knows? Oh, add it there. I 
saw the check mark. Nope, oh, I saw it again. Ha ha ha, I meant to do that. Great. Where the fuck did it go? Oh, all the way on the back of the engine. Okay, hold on. Just pipe clamp all that in underneath the alternator. It's the alternator, darling. Oi. Bruv. Is that an alternator you got there? I'll uh, alternate you. Minator. Fuck me. That's not even funny. Um, next, hose number three is the third hose. It goes like this. And it also has pipe clamps, which we will clamp pipefully. That does not even line up a little bit, but um, I've noticed that that doesn't really matter with this game. Lining things up is largely optional. Okay, radiator hose is in. Uh, hose 2 is one screw, correct. Clutch master cylinder, okay. Is this the clutch master? That is the clutch master cylinder. And that goes on the firewall. I know where the master cylinder goes. I'm not that dumb. One nine on the clutch pedal in the interior, and two eights. So let's uh, let's start with the clutch pedal because that is easy. Right there, beautiful. I like this um, quite simple arrangement of pedals. It's uh, it's it's oddly nice, you know. It's refreshing. How's my audio quality, by the way? I upgraded to a different microphone, so hopefully it should make a bit of a difference. Uh, I don't know if it's better or worse, or if it's just the same. There you go. Get that on there. Come on. All the way on. Great. And we'll go ahead, we won't, it says to fill it, but uh, let's just wait. Uh, clutch lining from master cylinder to the gearbox. That I can do. This is gear linkage, that is the gear shifter, this is clutch lining, beautiful. Now it doesn't line the clutch, it's, they're, they're, just, they're just clutch lines in general. Like, they're not that, that interesting or special. But that's where they go. I had it in backwards, but that doesn't matter. Uh, also the gear linkage is a pain when you install that. That is very good to know, I appreciate that. The clutch lining just simply goes in with some sevens, which is exactly what we have, and it goes in with two sevens. So we'll just go ahead and find both of those. Uh, it goes in one end there, one, two. See, nice and simple. Everyone knows that you need to replace your clutch fluid regularly, or else your car will stop clutching. Uh, let's see, brake master cylinder, that's one nine and two eights, so let's get the brake master cylinder, I'll master your brake cylinder, and uh, we'll just go ahead and throw that on there, kind of haphazardly where it goes, and uh, that'll take an eight as well on the inside, right there, now just bolt that on, in theory, in theory a great way to make something not work out in practice. But in theory, this should be closer to a actually functional vehicle, which once we have, will really allow us to drive around. Um, I mean, end goals, I don't know, beat the game, surely. So do the rally, get a girlfriend, get her pregnant, you know, lead into my winter car when that comes out in 2057. Brake master cylinder, brake lining. I gotta scroll my little guide here because I am not gonna remember how to do this entirely by myself. Uh, brake lining is 11 screws. And if you don't do all 11, your brakes give out. I remember this because one time I didn't do all 11. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in. Great, and that is 11 number sevens. Seven, and we're just going to go ahead and count them because that's probably the smartest way to go about things. One, two, three. 
three. Four bolts at each width, no, three, four, five, six, And then there's a uh, one at each wheel as well. I remember this distinctly. Uh, there you go. Eight. said finally there you go 11 look at us go all right brake lining in fuel tank it's next now we don't have any gas which is worth keeping in mind as something that we are missing that's quite notable but she's in there fuel tank takes seven 11s and one 12 now i remember the 12 so we're just going to go ahead and do that one first because without the 12 i don't know you can leak gas um one now how many 11s were there seven great that's a good lucky lucky amount of 11s seven or have i heard that before it's impossible to tell if anyone can tell you win a prize Ooh, a sausage. Has this always been there? Well, it's definitely gone bad, so that's fine. I guess that can live there. And let's put all the bolts on the fuel tank. One. Again, this is riveting gameplay. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, and we're missing one, and seven. Wonderful. Look at us go. All right, fuel tank in. Fuel tank pipe. Looks like that doesn't even require any tools. It should be nice and easy. Oh, I saw the check mark, but I did not click it correctly. Now I did. Fuel tank pipe in. Did I dent up the car a little? I did. Oh, that is unfortunate. That's fine. Uh, my summer car has really changed since I first bought the game. Oh yeah, I mean, it keeps like adjusting slightly because it's only developed by one guy, which means there's no one around him to tell him that an idea is stupid. So he just does them. It looks like we're throwing the exhaust on. Yeah, we're doing a full cat back, you know, on this Satsuma. I don't even how how uh, there you go. The exhaust is on with three sevens. That's not what I currently have. I've got elevens, but there were seven of the elevens, which could easily lead to a mistake. Now where the hell does the fuel pipe mm -hmm. attach? Oh, just in the logical places where it would. And how many was that? Three. Great. It looks like two of them are there. Huh, this is not a very well secured exhaust pipe in my opinion. But who am I to judge? Who am I to judge the Datsun Nissan engineers of the 1970s? Should we leave the muffler off for um, maximum race car? Nah, let's put the muffler on. Let's be good Christian boys. Um, muffler. 
What do you do with a drunken muffler? Put him in charge of a muffler. Muffler, when do you do with the muffler? Muffler, put it in the car, please. And the muffler is also on with the same size tool, which is rather practical. And it goes in there. However, it is only held on with the one bolt, which seems a little risky, if you ask me. Mm, seems a little... It seems a little risky, if you ask me. The great thing about my new microphone is that I can whisper into it, sort of like ASMR, and uh, you can understand me pretty well. But I can't imagine this is particularly pleasant. Yeah, car often kills itself. It's, um... It's rather unhappy to be alive. The car doesn't, like, enjoy existing, which is fair, because I've got some friends who feel that same way. Um, exhaust muffler in, gear linkage, from the gearbox to the interior. And I think that goes underneath the car, because it's a 70s car. Um, I don't know if you guys are particularly familiar with the style of these old, like, open, solid linkages that um, old-school shit front-wheel drive cars had. It's very much not, bam, uh, what, you know, Hondas, Hondas have got, uh, like, solid, nice, happy little rods. You know, everyone knows that. It probably doesn't need, doesn't help, I modded the game to all crap, because of course I did. Yes, I would like to mod this game to all crap, honestly, if possible. But I've decided to try legit first to gain some credibility uh, from no one, and I'm getting another fucking phone call. Oh my god. What could you possibly want now? Buy a flatbed load of firewood. Okay, where are you? You are there. Go away. And uh, let's have a little slurp. Because we deserve to slurp. You know, we deserve to slurp. Um, I, I like the idea of mods for this game. There's some pretty interesting ones that I've seen. There's that little pickup truck you can drive. Um, I saw there's a four-wheel drive mod for the van, and uh, there's all sorts of interesting little concepts uh, that look kind of fun. There's also like quality of life mods, like one that shows you um, gear linkage. Are all the boats are on the gearbox. Where on the gearbox? Well, there's one. <laughs> it looks like there's three bolts. So where's the third? <laughs> Sorry about the burping again. Literally nothing I can do. I w really desperately, truly wish there was. Every game I touch ends up modded and unhappy with me. Currently, The Sims is angry. That's because you're playing The Sims. Fucking girl. Um, which is fine. Girls are epic. A lot of my friends are girls. I'm dating a girl right now. Um, but, uh, man, I like, I like mods. I like Minecraft mods, because that's, you know, pretty iconic. I feel like Minecraft was a real intro to modding for a lot of people. Um, should we use the stock battery or the aftermarket battery that I bought? Is there a marked difference between the two? The guide doesn't seem to say. It just says you can use whatever. Um, so let's try the, after the stock battery first. Bam. Um, does it go in? Oh, it just kind of sits there. Designed designated corner of the engine bay. Bolts appear after wiring. Do not leave the negative bolt tightened by itself. That may start a fire and even electrocute you. Oh, joy of joys. Well, I would say that this is some pretty good progress on the car. Why don't we build out the interior and uh, make the car look pretty, and then we can do wiring next time because fuck wires. I work with them all day, every day. Um, did I even bolt up the gas pedal to the pedal in the car? I don't think I did. No, no, that looks bolted up to me. Uh, there's a fun little extra trick about wires that I learned at my work, my job, that I'd like to, I'd like to share, I'd like to partage it with the group uh, today. And that is... I feel like I should put the steering column in. Did it ever ask me to do that? Because I didn't. Steering column. Steering column. Yeah, I feel like I should have put the steering column in. Yeah, steering column, there you go, right at the top, two eights. Okay, well let's, why don't we just throw that in there real quick, because it's, it's like, how hard can it be? I think I burned every wire in the Satsuma when I turned it on, lol. Sounds like a wiring issue. Um, anyways, wiring strats. 
Uh, so you can actually tell how long a cable is by a fun little thing. And all you have to do is count the number of loops that are in a bundled up like ball of cable. There you go. Uh, and if you count the number of loops and then you kind of like memorize um, how many loops go into different cables of different lengths. So like you can tell, oh, a six foot cable has so many loops and a three foot cable is going to have half of that many loops and a 15 foot cable has this many loops. And it gets to the point where you can just like looking at a cabled up, like a bundled up, I hate my microphone, a bundled up um, ball of cables, you know, sort of like this one, you can tell how long it is. Like this one looks to be about a 10 or a 15 foot bundle of cable based on my minimum experience. But that's a fun little, little trick you can do. And if you get good at it, you can really like start impressing people who should not care um, because that's a very minor problem. Let's get the steering wheel on this thing, shall we? Make it look like a real car. Mmm, look at that 70s plastic. I love the 70s. Um, I don't know if this is like abundantly clear to everyone else, but I don't know if anyone else has noticed this. Have you ever noticed that disco music is extremely gay? Uh, it's funny. <laughs> it, like, I don't know, again, have y'all noticed this? Because I've been listening to disco, and there's a song that's literally called I'm Coming Out, and the lyrics are like, I got the world to know, I'm gonna let it show. Like, if that's not about coming out as gay, what the fuck could I'm coming out be about if not coming out as gay? Seriously, I, I, I need to know, because if it's not the gay thing, then I'm gonna be kind of baffled. Uh, let's throw the shifter in this car. There's a lot of very gay songs. Obviously, anything by the Village People. Um, YMCA is a pretty famous gay gay anthem. Um, I'm not going to sing it. You guys know what YMCA sounds like. Come on, Shifter. No, you go. You live there. And your name is Mr. Shifter. You're a Mr. Gear Stick. And you go in with a 6 millimeter bolt. Um, what's interesting is that all the bolt sizes in this game are metric, but... And do not quote me on this, um, but I'm under the impression that the Satsuma was built in the 1970s, and by the 1970s, I believe most Japanese cars, or most cars, were still made with imperial measurements. Again, do not quote me on that, but um, usually, again, old cars are imperial and new ones are metric. That's just normal. It's not even like location, you know, new American cars are metric, because metric's just better. Um, but it's also possible that the player character only has a metric socket set and is just simply jamming the metric sockets onto the um, Imperial bolts. My Satsuma is very gay, pink, and the windows have Luna. Of course. Here, let me show you my window since you're watching. Um, I've got... I got my university. I got... I break for cat boys, because who doesn't? And I also have... My car's book value is one Baja Blast. Uh... So I, I, I went and downloaded and photoshopped that sticker from oho.com and threw it on the back there. So I'm pretty, pretty based. Setsuma's just built different. It do be built different. I'll build you differently. Gear stick in. Handbrake in. Handbrake. Handbrake. Now the handbrake. Just go like. Whoop. Don't like that. Oh. Hey, look at me go. Uh. The handbrake goes in with four eights and one five. So let's start with the eights because they are the ones that are accessible from the interior. One. I don't know. I like this game. It's goofy and fun and weird and impossible to explain to anyone why you would ever like actually want to play it because um, it's one again. It's one of those weird games that just doesn't make sense, and I'm really happy that us as a species have weird games that don't make sense. Front seats. Do I really have to put the dash pad dashboard on, like, last? Okay. I'm not gonna argue with you. What's this? Passenger seat. Come on. In. Passenger seat is held on with nines. Oh, I did not put the handbrake in all the way. Uh, let's do that. Pull the last brand brake. Pull this under the car. Number five. Hold on. I gotta go under the car to finish up the handbrake, and then I can go ahead and attach the front seat. Um, it's right there. Yes, queen. 
This is like a real old school handbrake where it basically just yanked a cable that haphazardly connected to the rear drum brakes. I respect that. Uh, now the seats were thrown in with bolt size number nine. Yeah, I can't I can't stream forever. I gotta go downtown to pick up my uh, my partner. She's uh, bussing in from Montreal uh, tonight. Uh, Montreal, if you're Quebecois, you wanna say it properly. You don't have to, no one's gonna yell at you if you don't. Um, but if you wanna say it properly, you know, if you choose to do things correctly, you can say Montreal. And there's the other bolt is, is it, how many s bolts hold? Oh, it was just too far. Okay, it, it wasn't like a broken or any kind of difficulties. It was just me being a goob. There you go. And we'll throw in the rear. There you go. We'll get the last one. Passenger seat officially in. I, feel, I really feel like it should be giving me a different order. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and defy the order and do it all logically. Um, oh, my stressometer is pretty high. Let's have a cigarette. Just gonna really quickly have a little siggy, siggy wiggy, woo woo. Uh, I like Luna as a character. Uh, punk girls are like a bit of a weakness, a bit of a kryptonite. You know, you could say, oh, you can sleep in the back of the Satsuma. That's new. Come on. Come on. way. Just quit bugging out, fucking physics object. There you go. Get in the car. Get in car. Please, please be attached to vehicle. Where is the check mark? Check mark? Check mark. Check mark. Okay, well, I guess I gotta do it in order. Oh, you know what the problem is? I'm still holding a cigarette. That's probably exactly the issue. Hold on, let me just finish smoking this real quick. I'm a real, I'm a real goober. Um, there it is, and there's the issue. Okay, and the seat, the rear seat, is held in with two nines, just like the front seats. But presumably, it's just the two, so they're only here. One, two, wonderful, great. Alrighty then, that's progress. That's what I call real progress in this economy. Um, we'll go ahead and throw the rear panel back in. We'll just do the basic one. I'm not throwing in any rad speakers. Oh, that is a particularly upsetting burp. I am terribly sorry. Anybody who had to listen to that fucking ejaculation of my of my my air in my lungs. Um, I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Gonna let it show. Na, 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 na. This is a little song that I sing along for me. There you go, seats in, pre-adjusted, look at that. And we'll go ahead and bolt it in with the correct spanner, which is what Europeans call wrenches, because Europeans are very special. They don't say wrench. And if you're French, uh, you know what the word for wrench is? Clé anglaise, uh, which literally means English key. Um, kind of hilarious as a term, if you think about it. Back panel in. Oh, look at this car. This is looking like a car. Like I'm, I'm happy. Uh, dashboard under the front window. Dashboard meters. Dashboard. It's going into the car. Just gonna like 
rotate it. Rotate dashboard. Beauty. The dashboard is held in with two tens. And we're just going to go ahead and grab the ten real quick. My hungometer is getting a little high, so let's go ahead and satisfy that. I'll leave the kitchen light on for safety. I'm just going to go ahead and have a drink. Delicious. My fatigueometer is kind of high. My urinometer is also kind of high. Not much I can do about that. Where is the dash held in through? It's held in through here. Dashboard is just two bolts. Doesn't seem like enough. Is it in here? Yes, it is in here. Wonderful. Okay, dash in the car. Great. Paint the hood black to make it a race car. That is a very based choice. Everyone knows that if you paint your hood black, it makes the car go faster. And no one knows why. I know why, but I'm not going to tell you unless you ask nicely. Or I get bored of not saying. Uh, dashboard in, clock gauge. So here's the dash meters, uh, and it's got a free spot, and the only gauge I have is a clock, which is a little pointless, you know. Clock gauge goes in the back. Seven to put it in, but that should be relatively simple. Um, I don't have any spray paint on me, otherwise I would immediately action your plan, Bella, because it is a good idea. Uh, bolts located in glove box. And it's just two. <laughs> Sorry, I got to get this in the right order, otherwise I will literally pass away. Beautiful. Ah, oh, 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 look at that interior. Oh, look at that interior. Oh, look at that interior. All right, dashboard meters, that's in with a six, which looks like so, and I'm just gonna go ahead and crouch over here, open that up, and of course the two bolts are inside of the glove compartment, which is where you put gloves. Um, now it did not tell me to put the radio in, Oh, because the radio just jams into place haphazardly. Okay, well, let's do that then. Do I need a radio, or should I save it for weight reduction for race car? Now, let's make, like, a nice, you know, you know, daily driven. I daily drive my project. Um, fun fact, anyone who says, oh, I daily drive my project is too poor to afford a daily driver. Uh, that's a real fact. And uh, not that there's anything wrong with being poor. I've been poor. I'm sure a lot of us have. But it's just worth keeping in mind that that is the situation at hand. Okay, the interior is done. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave the exterior, although I will go ahead and just to make myself feel better, I'm gonna throw the, the hubcaps on as they don't require any tools, they just kinda stick in place. You know, make the car look a little fancier, a little bit more correct, like a 70s Datsun. There's all sorts of goofy mods for this game. One of the mods is so tiny, it literally just adds a fuel door. I kind of I kind of appreciate that, you know? I respect that. All right, uh, so we're in, it's currently 9.30, and we're doing pretty good. I think I'm gonna have to leave it there. Here, we'll sit in the driver's seat. And here, we'll just start the car. So you can see it's not working. Um, handbrake up. Up. Can't, uh, obviously, I can't. Can't change gears because the car is not running. That's fine. Look at that. Got a temperature gauge, got a fuel gauge, got a kilometers gauge. I got a choke that I can pull, have fun with. Hazard light switch, that doesn't work. Radio. Tune the radio, headlights, they don't work. Again, nothing's wired up, so like, why would anything work? Something I like about the game, at least that I just like as a detail, is that because you have a little coupe, a little two-door, 
uh, you can go ahead and like um, like flip the seat forward and get in the back, and you can actually sleep back here, as I'm about to demonstrate. There you go. Sleep in the back of your car. Hey, Daniel. What's up? You caught me right as I was about to end, or at least I was kind of winding down. I gotta go downtown pick up Elsie. Um, oh, look at that. I had a wonderful sleep in the back back seat of my car. Uh, as you can see, the Miku car has an engine, it has a headlight, it's got wheels. Uh, we're doing great. And here, let me just quickly piss on my tractor. Um, I agree that we definitely need a Blahage. Uh, is there a Blahage mod for my summer car? Because I feel like there should be. And if there isn't, that's a significant missed opportunity. Uh, I'm using. I'm doing this. I'm marking my territory on the tractor. In case you know, in case you're wondering what the hell is wrong with me. Very important thing you can do. Yes. Look at this go. Delicious. All right. My stressometer. My dirtometer. It is Friday, which means that I think this is the first day that the van could technically spawn in your uncle's um, driveway. And that's it right there. Fuck yeah. Let's go talk to him. Let's spend a little bit of time playing with the van. Actually, let's check what time it is before we spend a bit of time playing with the van. It is... Uh, where's the sun? Early. Great. Let's drive into town. Get some gas, because we're going to need that. Sticker on the car says, here, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back around as soon as I borrow the van. And um, I'll show you. Oh, glorious. The Toyota Hiase van. Uh, you ever seen the logo and it says H-I-A-C-E and you think, clearly that says Hi Ace. Nuh-uh. It doesn't say Hi Ace. It's Hiase, which is, um, it's how you're supposed to pronounce that. Because in Japanese, because of the way that the language works. Da, 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 da. I think you just have to knock on his door a lot until he comes out. Modern height. Hey, bucko. Oh, fuck, you're fat. So I heard you like to... Uh, what's his voice? I heard you like to loan the van. Well, here are the keys for it. He's got voice acting. I don't know why I'm doing his voice. You can read. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. 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 Keys, 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 keys. Keys. Key. Keys. Uh, I know that after you have, or just clip through the door. Oh, yeah, that works. Uh, one of the, awesome, let's take this van. Fuck, it'll be so nice to have a car that like, works. Yeah, there's a little bit of a, of an adventure. But let's take a look at my stickers first and then we'll go to the store and we'll get some diesel and we'll get some gasoline. And, um, This fan's a diesel, so you have to wait until the glow plugs turn off. Hold on. Forgot about that. Oh, the Gifu. The Gifu, um, in this game, it's a brand of truck. So um, later on in the game, uh, that guy who gave you the keys to his van, um, he loses his license because he, he gets caught drunk driving. We'll oh, put the window down. He loses his license because he gets caught drunk driving. Uh, and so you can actually... You can actually like uh, unlock the ability to use his big truck, and his big truck is like a sewage uh, pumper truck, you know, like for septic tanks. And um, you can use that to pump out like other characters' septic tanks in the game, and uh, make pretty actually sensible money, like a good couple of hundred marks uh, per pump. You do a whole bunch of pumps, you know, you're home free. And uh, how much gal? Yeah, good. He even left it tanked up. It's so nice of him. We'll go ahead and leave the car running because fuck efficiency. Um, so the stickers on the back of the car, Trent University, I break for cat boys because of course, and I actually went ahead and I photoshopped in the sticker that I actually own on Petra where it says my car's book value is one Baja Blast. I thought about the Mallards one, but then I thought let's not do an exact copy. Window crank just like that. Yeah, crank windows, baby. You know, I've had a lot of cars. Uh, 
for somebody my age. I've had seven cars. And uh, I think the most amazing thing is that only one of them has had crank windows. I've had six cars with electric windows, and two of those cars were made before the year 2000, and all of them have been a little shit. Um, but I guess, I don't know, I just, I'm a, I'm a real electric window enjoyer. Who knew? Um, yeah, I've gotta have the stickers. Where the hell's my gas tank? Okay, so I'm gonna need to fill this up with gasoline, or else how, how am I gonna start the car, right, without any gas? That up. Uh, what else do we need from the van or from the store? I feel like we got like 90% of everything uh, that we're gonna need in our lives. I'll go ahead and have a have a quick drink. Oh, I see the twitch move. You should have a sticker that reminds that French is horrible. I think that's a very good idea. Um, so if you can think of a funny slogan and uh, we can Photoshop it together and I can add it to the back of the car. Sorry. Oh, that was a bad one. This pizza must not be agreeing with me. But, okay, throw that on. It's 9.40. Do I actually have enough time to go to the store? Yeah, probably. Figure it out. All right, let's freaking go, my dude. Smoke that clutch. Yes. All right, now I know that there is a diesel canister over here. Looks like I'm getting a disc. Ah, I'm having a little spin out. Okay, hold on. Let's keep, go let's, uh, let's keep things a little bit more Man, I'm I'm having I'm having a lot of problems today. There you go. I should probably put my seatbelt on next time, given how bad I am at driving. And uh, here we'll go ahead and grab the diesel can, because I feel like this is a good thing. Again, we don't need to fill the diesel can, but I feel like it's a good thing to just do, like generally speaking. And now I believe this van is totally legal to drive. Um, yeah, I did all those turns on purpose. Don't worry about it. And here we're just gonna go ahead and. Seatbelt on. Back into first. Uh, interestingly, it's actually a column shift manual, which is um, these days not common. It's a four speed column shift manual too, which is pretty interesting. At least I think it's a four speed, we'll, we'll see. But, Look, we're in third, doing a very sensible 60. So let's just do 60 all the way into town. Be nice and efficient, nothing weird we gotta do. And we'll just quickly nip off into the town, like a couple of normal people who aren't weird at all. Oh, look at us go. So we'll fill that gas tank with gas. Um, what, what, do we need anything from town since I'm going anyway because I've got the van? Um, I'm trying to think. Fuck, so we got food, we have beer, we have a little bit of milk, we have light bulbs, we have spark plugs, I got an alternator belt. Oh, black spray paint! Yes, we need a black spray paint to make my super fucking swick, swick, sick black hood, which is what all the cool people do with their hoods. Um, and uh, we'll call that making the hood black like the official end of the stream. Does that sound good to everyone? Sounds good to me, and it's my stream. You guys have no influence over what I do, um, technically speaking. And uh, I'm doing definitely more than 60 now, but um, let's just hope the train doesn't hit us. Beautiful. Look at us go. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'll take the, the dirt road. So this is just like me in real life with my manual transmission car, except it's not a van and it has more power. Um, I really want to buy a steering wheel. You know those like computer PC steering wheels for racing games? Um, this game is like fully compatible with uh, steering wheels and it actually works very well with them. 
But the problem is that if I wanted a steering wheel, I would also need a, um, like a shifter. I'd also want the shifter so that I could drive manual cars in like a realistic, you know, banging off the gears uh, fashion. And unfortunately, a steering wheel and a shifter in Canadian dollars is going to be like 700 bucks. So as much as I really want that, and I, I technically have a job that could make it so that I could kind of afford one, um, I'm, I guess I'm just waiting until I can, you know, more realistically afford one. Huh. Your suggestion about the thrift store ones? Oh, okay, that's fine. I meant to do that. Um, it is good. I have actually done that, like bought a thrift store mm -hmm. wheel before. And it does work. However, the only issue with that... Whoa, I don't like this. Is that a lot of those wheels are for, like, the PlayStation 2. And um, what will happen is that you get very little definition on... Mm -hmm. That's fine. He is meant to do that as a very safe driver. Yeah, so the, a lot of those are for the PlayStation 2, and the PlayStation 2, it just doesn't have the same, like, input um, variability. Uh, the one that I bought, the steering wheel would only turn uh, 45 degrees, and then you'd be at max turn. So you could either have a one-to-one, -one, like, ratio of turn to wheel to turn to game, but then you could only ever turn 45 degrees your wheel in the game, which is barely a turn in a real car. Or you could have it so that 45 degrees is 100% of a turn, at which point it feels like you aren't even driving with the steering wheel anymore, you're just driving with a controller. And at that point, what the, exactly, like, what the hell's the point? Um, plus, the one that I had, the shifter, like, only went up, it didn't go down. Um, which is really, that's not a fault of those thrift shop wheels, it's just the fault of the one that I had. We're doing great on this little country road drive. I hope this... You know, driving footage is more entertaining for uh, for you guys than uh, me wrestling with rusty car parts and the graphics that have aged, let's say. Um, they haven't aged well, but they have aged. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I don't know, maybe someday I'll buy myself a proper steering wheel and I'll be able to play this game with like a proper steering wheel and it'll be super epic. But probably not for now. We're doing 80 down these back roads, which is basically like how I drive my car um, in real life. So really, this is this is essentially just what I do every Sunday. Um, it's not even slightly true. I live in a pretty big city, but I grew up in a pretty rural area that is not dissimilar to this. You know, I have a lot of love in my heart for rural regions, but uh, admittedly, they are way too fast. I don't think this van can roll, so let's just fucking floor it into the road. Um, and it looks like I got another little bit of message on chat that I'm just gonna read it real quick, because I have to look away from, from my... I have my game on my second monitor here, and uh, all the stream information, and my streaming, and the guide, everything else is on my primary monitor. So you might notice that when I'm looking towards the camera, I put the camera on top of the secondary monitor, I'm playing the game, but if I look over here, I'm not playing the game. So let's just really quickly look. Fun fact, the Air Force uses a large margin of PS3 motherboards for supercomputers. I did hear about that, and PS4 motherboards, yes. Well, the PlayStation 4 and 3 are optimized for 3D and like vector calculations, and a lot of those types of calculations are used, oh, fuck. Nope, nope, nope. This car does not do lar high speeds very well, huh? That's fine. But yeah, no, there's, uh, the processors inside PlayStations are actually really good at doing, like, ballistics uh, trajectory processing because of, I don't know, science reasons. Um, which side is the fuel door on? There is no way of determining. Ooh, who are these assholes? Oh, these are the assholes! Hold on, I remember this. Let's go talk to them. off, seatbelt on, get out of the car, and uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and uh, we'll fill the gas first, because we got to do it. And, uh, shall we talk to this dude? So 
he just sits there and insults me. Alright, what about you? Kosola has been in since he got... So this guy's, like, fine with me, but the other guy just calls me an idiot. Let's get out of the way, because he looks kind of dangerous. Hold on. Fuck. Please don't hit my car. Please don't hit... Okay, thank you. <laughs> Look at him go! Fuck yeah. Oh, his buddy. Let's see him do the same thing. Yeah! A little donut. Uh, you doing alright? Oh, you're doing terrific. Yesterday on my way home, there was a car that kept changing lane from left to right without putting a CERN signal. Um, in case you're curious, there is actually a car guy like term for that. It's called swimming. They call that swimming through traffic, just kind of noodling around and um, going past everyone. I call it a death wish, and uh, possibly one of the most dangerous, short-sighted, stupidest things you could possibly do. Um, Bella in the chat probably remembers the time I absolutely like it went off on someone on the internet because he revealed he did that. Honestly, I don't regret that. I don't regret that. Usually I regret losing my temper, but I think there are certain cases where it's, it's always acceptable. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there. Um, I was the I was the only car with him. Yeah, well, if there's if there's no other vehicles around, it's probably not as bad. I feel like filling up this diesel. I mean, couldn't hurt, right? Where's the, is this the fuel? How do I open the? Hold on, yeah, it's like that. Oh shit! Hey, buddy. There he goes. His buddy. Yeah. Whoa. Careful. Nice work, bro. All right. Let's see if the diesel pump can make it all the way over here. I doubt it, but only one way to find out, right? Fill up the diesel can. Frank is a case. I now deal with said person in my tele, telegram, presumably. Yeah. I don't know. I guess Frank, for lack of, a, I always just kind of called him the BMW idiot. Um. I don't know, some people are just too numbed by the California sun that uh, they can't really like think straight in certain ways, so. I don't feel like we should really fault him for that. He's doing his best, you know. Someday he'll make about as much money as a very entry-level IT guy, you know? And he's he's, he's, he's proud of that. Now, you know what, good for him, right? Good for him. Um, I think we should be positive and supportive of each other. True. Yeah, I don't know what that was true to, probably my California sun remark. There's a delay, as you guys, I'm sure, are aware of, um, like, between streaming and not. Let's close that, shall we? <laughs> okay, we wanted some spray paint. Let's see if the shop's still open. Thank Christ. Spray paint. And what other colors do we want for our spray paint? Should we get some pink as well, just for maximum basedness. I think we also need some pink. And let's see what else our lives and our soul needs. If you guys have any ideas, I'm totally down um, for ideas. Because I love me a good idea. I don't think I need anything else. At least I can't think of anything. Plus, most of that was just gas anyway. Throw that in the back. Great. Cat ears and beef jerky. Uh, I mean, I'd probably get something beef jerky adjacent. Let's see what they got. They got macaroni, pizza, and chips. Got a couple bags of chips. Now, does the game spawn multiple shopping bags? It does. That's new. It used to um, only have one shopping bag, and you, you could like teleport stuff into your car by buying one thing and moving the shopping bag and then buying more stuff. I should put a shark on my Satsuma. You definitely should put a shark on your Satsuma. I think that would really just improve everyone's quality of life. I am going to take the alternate route home uh, to give you guys some more interesting to look at, to be perfectly honest. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and close that. Start up the car. Beautiful. Seatbelt on. Handbrake off. First gear. Gun it. Wait, no. Gun it for real. Ah. 
it's a shame you joined so late uh, to the stream. You know, I was streaming for like an hour and a half, like nearly two hours uh, before you guys showed up. Hey, you want to get hit by a car? Whoa! Let's not hit that guy. I think if you run over a pedestrian and someone sees it, you can actually get arrested. And no, fuck me. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, I'm fine, but I definitely ran headfirst into him. Hold on. Are you okay, sir? Sir, should we exchange insurance information? Oh, God. Oh, God, it's all over the interior, too. Hey. Hey, how you doing, man? Um. You, uh. You know, you don't look so good. Well, here, let me just, let me just put, you, put you back, okay, and then we're just gonna, <laughs> hide, hide the evidence, hide the evidence, <laughs> just push, just right behind, here, just push the car behind the church, and no one will know that I ran directly into you and murdered you, it's not my fault, it was an accident, you, hey, you hit me, you hit me. Push it right. Oh no, I left fingerprints. Oh shit. Quick, run away. Run away. Maybe no one saw. Maybe no one saw. Uh, I'm a criminal. <laughs> I'm a criminal. Fuck. Okay, let's just go away. Yep, driving. I know how to drive. Get in the road. <laughs> Run! I'm running! The constabulary! They don't seem to have seen me. I think I'm okay. Here's the thing, if you do a crime in this game, the police don't come after you. They just show up at your door some mornings and then give you a fine for an insane amount of money. And I don't remember if running into that guy causes a fine. But I do know that killing people is not encouraged by the game. So I just... Let's just hope that no one saw it was me. As much as it was in a town. Ah, I'm a little nervous now because if I get the fine, that's kind of like... Fuck, I'm, I'm dead, right? That's the end of the game for me. I can't really do much. Unless... Now... If I am a criminal, there is something I can do to get 15 million um, mark like monies in the game. That is completely legit, it's part of the game's story. If you make friends with this guy, who is basically just a drunk, um, and you drive him home from the bar a couple times, he'll eventually tell you that he's got like a suitcase full of money. Um, and then you can steal the suitcase full of money if you find it. And it's full, full of money. And you just take all the money and it's like 15 million dollars like in the game. Um, and if you do that, and the guy thinks it's you, he'll show up on your doorstep with an axe. Luckily, the video game has a punch feature, so if you use a correctly applied punch, you can knock him out and get rid of him. And then, then he stops bugging you, because you find him hanging from a noose underneath a bridge. Oh shit, I had a little car accident. Oh no, I died! Oh no! Oh shit! Ah, I'm dead! I have passed away! Okay, well, the good news, they can't charge a dead person with murder. So I'm fine. <laughs> no! Alright. Well, thanks for fucking watching. <laughs> this is karma, man. This is payback. When you put into the world, it comes right back out. I don't have permadeath turned on because I love myself. Unfortunately, um, I know for a fact where you spawn. And here, we're just going to wait for the game to do its thing. Here, I'll, I'll respawn and save and then we'll call that good. And then that'll give us an interesting little puzzle to solve tomorrow. Or I think that's tomorrow. Hello, Luna. You going to come say hi? Luna's coming to say hi. You want to say hi to the stream? Luna? 
Look at the kitty. You're so cute. You are so cute. I do not want you on my keyboard. Why don't you go down there? Okay, that's enough of that. Continue. Luna is a, is a total sweetie pie, and we love her very much. Okay, let's go back into the game. Now, if I recall correctly, when you die, you respawn. But you respawn in kind of an odd... There you go, you respawn right outside of the cemetery. But the store is right here, and Luna is being problematic. And the store... Fuck, Luna, get... Stop it. You can't step there. My desk is not a stable place for you to walk around, little Luna. Go. You're... Oh, fuck. The police are fucking waiting for me. Can you guys see this? Hold on. Luna, you're in my way. Do you get... So you... I'm sure you can see this, right? The police are right here. Oh, God. They're staring right at me. Uh... Okay. Well... I guess I'm gonna talk to you. Hey, man. What's up? Oh, he beat me up! He hit me! Who the fuck? Oh my god, I'm in jail! <laughs> I was just telling you all about how irritating the jail is, and how you're in it for a week of in-game time. Yep. I'm in jail. Okay, well, that is an interesting... <laughs> Hey, Luna, you're very cute. You want up there? Look at Luna. Look at how cute she is. See? She's such a sweetie pie. I don't want you here on my desk. I want you there on that cardboard box. <sighs> Are you ready to play the police enforcement Red Deed 2? Uh, well, I have less money. So, um, what now? I guess I'm going to save. Interesting. So, interesting. Well, you know what? It's all part of the adventure. Why did the police have to beat me up? They could have just arrested me. Or giving me a fine. I guess I guess it is technically a crime to murder someone. <laughs> Buy a poster from Morgan Freeman and chisel your way out. Yeah. You know what? That's how we're going to begin tomorrow's stream, if I can stream tomorrow, which I assume I can. Um, we're going to be buying a poster. We're going to chisel our way out of jail. We're going to escape. And we're going to begin our new lives as a criminal masterminds. Because clearly, that's what we are. So we're going to steal the money. Um, there's a house you can steal, there is a car you can steal, there is a fucking slot machine you can steal, so let's steal- you know what, next round, next game, we're gonna deal with jail, nothing we can do about that, maybe we'll watch some YouTube videos, and then we are going to steal the slot machine to make money, and then, I don't know, we'll do something else, but, um... Yeah, it'll be fun. It's just one slot machine in, in the store. Uh, a lot of countries, like in Europe and stuff, there's like small town uh, gambling. It's it's pretty common. Like small time gambling. Like you can gamble not at a casino. Um, which for us is weird, because obviously you can't just go to the fucking Depano, the, the Circle K, and play a slot machine. But um, in many places in Europe you can, including Finland. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. We have a hell of our work cut out for us uh, for next time with dealing with jail and becoming criminals as we continue to try to build one car. <sighs> Spawn trap. No, I'm, you know what? I'm going to be as legit as I can until I get bored and then we're going to throw some mods on. Maybe next round I can try to get the Rusco, the piece of shit car. Um, either way, we'll figure it out. Thank you again so much. You have a great night. Um, sleep well. Don't forget to tip your waiters. And unfortunately, my cat... Little Luna appears to have turned on my screen recorder, so we're, we're going to deal with that as soon as this is done. All right.